Hi. My name is Mandy. I'm here to teach you guys about methanogenesis by archaea. But what is methanogenesis? And why is it important? Methanogenesis is also known as biomethanation. It is the formation of methane by microbes known as methanogens. Organisms that produce methane are called archaea. Methanogens are organisms that live without oxygen. They are also considered extremophiles which live in extreme conditions. But where would you expect to find such things? Methanogens are found in cow stomachs, swamp mud, ocean sediments, and other extreme environments where there is no oxygen. This is my friend Moo. Moo has methanogens living in his stomach right now, but don't worry, they won't hurt him. In fact, cows are one of the only animals that can produce methane. Did you know, cows are the United States' top source of methane emissions? One cow can release up to 500 liters of methane into the atmosphere each day. Now that we know what methanogens are and where to find them, let's take a closer look at how the process of methanogenesis was first discovered. Over to you Alex. Hi. My name is Alessandro Volta. I am an Italian physicist and chemist. I am credited with inventing the electric battery and discovering methane. Let's take a look at how I discovered methane and the process known now as methanogenesis by archaea. One day, in 1776, I was exploring a local swamp when I noticed something interesting. I noticed bubbles rising from the bottom of the murky swamp water. Not knowing what it was, I named it swamp gas. I had an idea, and I decided to take a sample back to the lab to study. In 1778, I was able to isolate a compound called methane. I experimented with the ignition of methane by an electric spark in a cloud vessel device. After isolating methane, I started to think about how it was created and why I found it in the swamp water. I remembered that organisms such as archaea can contain methanogens. These organisms can live in extreme environments and are capable of producing methane as a metabolic byproduct. Methanogenesis is the oldest metabolic process and was present in primitive Earth. However, it creates very little energy. There are three main pathways of methanogenesis. The first and most common pathway of methanogenesis is called acetate fermentation. Acetate can be formed through abiotic synthesis much like the processes in primitive earth. The second pathway is through a type of redox reaction known as dismutation. Dismutation is when a compound is oxidized and reduced at the same time. The dismutation of ethanol results in methane production which we use to fuel our cars. The third primitive pathway is the reduction of carbon dioxide. Carbon methanogens are reduced by hydrogen gas to form methane and water in the subsurfaces of the earth. Along with the three primitive pathways, methanogenesis occurs today in swamps, marshes, ocean sediments, and in the stomachs of cows and other ruminants. The production of methane in these environments can lead to climate change and global warming because methane is 25 times more potent of a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. I hope you enjoyed learning about methanogenesis by archaea. Now I am going to turn it back to Mandy for some review. Thanks Alex. To review, you should remember that methanogens are organisms capable of producing methane that live in extreme environments where there is no oxygen. Methanogens can be found in swamps, marshes, ocean sediments, and cow stomachs. Methanogenic archaea form methane by metabolizing carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed learning about methanogenesis by archaea.